BBC's School Report Day today and Matt's got the weather from Somerset. I certainly have. Good morning. We're at the Robert Blake Science College in Bridgewater, an area badly affected by flooding. The pupils here will be telling their story later and we've also got the weather which today provides more showers and another cold day for most of us. But things will change this weekend. All the details coming up. We're going to have a look at the weather today. It's weather with a difference, really. Yes, it's school report day and Matt has been sent to chat to pupils at a school in Somerset and talk to us about the weather as well. Morning. Good morning, Louise. Charlie, very good morning to you as well. I'm in amongst a group of uh, budding journalists and reporters. One of uh, a thousand schools across the country here at Robert Black Science College, Robert Blake Science College in uh, Bridgewater. They'll be working to a two o'clock deadline this afternoon to produce stories that mean that really matter to them. Now we'll be chatting to them later because flooding has been a big issue for them this year. But uh, we'll concentrate on the weather first of all because for today the weather is again another story of a rather chilly day across many parts of the country. And with that chill comes the risk of yet further showers. We saw some very lively showers through yesterday too and some of those could become quite heavy and thundery as we go through this afternoon. To start with though, a lot of you start the day dry, although here in the southwest of England there are a few showers uh, lurking around the coasts of Dorset, Devon, Cornwall, some of those already on the heavy side and they will drift inland through the morning. But a lot of dry and bright weather to start the day here, but a chilly start, risk of frost in one or two spots as we're also seeing across Wales. But the overnight showers have largely cleared out to the west here, so a dry start. The old shower in Northern Ireland too, but here mostly dry to begin the day, fair amount of cloud, some of the brightest conditions, some of the coldest conditions are across North and West Scotland where we probably see the best of the sunshine throughout the day. Now to eastern parts of Scotland, we've already got a few showers, some too across some eastern parts of England, not quite as lively as they were yesterday yet, but that will change. But through northwest England, the Midlands and through much of central southern England, it's a dry bright start, the odd mist of fog patch. Watch out as well on some of the back roads and pavements. There could be some frost and ice around as well. Now, for all of us, we've got a bit of a chilly easterly breeze. That's going to exacerbate the chill through the day, particularly across eastern parts of Scotland. Maybe not quite as cold across eastern England, but the showers will develop quite widely. Some heavier showers moving into the uh, east of the country through the afternoon. But there'll be a few spots where you can avoid the worst of the showers, and that's northwest England, western Wales, and the far west of Scotland, where we'll continue to see some sunny spells and temperatures at the best, probably around 12 degrees in the London area. Now, through tonight, we continue with that easterly breeze. The showers will start to focus in a certain areas. Southwest England, one of those, also across parts of the Midlands, northern England, and into north Wales and northern Ireland. Here, for some, it could be a particularly wet night. Away from that, quite a lot of cloud. That will stop the temperatures from dropping too much, but the odd patch of mist, frost... Also, some fog cannot be ruled out to take us into Friday morning. Now, for Friday morning, uh, a wetter day across some parts of northern England, the Midlands, North Wales and Northern Ireland. I think along this zone will focus some longer spells of rain. To the south of it, we'll see showers gradually develop through the morning. Again, some of these heavy with hail and thunder. But further north, Scotland could be another place where we see only a few showers, but a lot of low cloud drifting in towards the east. And here it could be quite damp and drizzly at times. Best of the sunshine, of course, in western parts of Scotland again. Temperatures starting to rise a little bit. Still a cold day for many in that easterly wind. But as we go into the weekend, Charlie and Louise, this is when we'll start to see temperatures rise. And by Sunday, some, particularly across parts of England and Wales, could see temperatures of around around 18, 19, maybe even 20 degrees. I'll have more details on that later and, of course, for the next few days. Back to you both. Gosh, that sounds lovely. And they are so studious behind you, Matt. You'll be talking to some of them later. Exactly. And they were up to be here at half past five. That's dedication. Oh, it is, isn't it, Matt? Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's have a look at the weather now. A bit of a special weather for you today Ooh. because uh, Matt's out and about. It's BBC News School Report Day, so Matt's gone back to school for us. Morning, Matt. Good morning, Charlie. I certainly have. And, of course, weather's a big feature this year of BBC News School Reports. We'll have more on that later. And we're at Robert Blake School today, the uh, science uh, college here in Bridgewater, where the weather has had more of an impact on some of the students than other people around the UK. And we'll hear their story later. But let's concentrate on today's weather, first of all, because it's going to be another rather chilly day across many parts of the UK. You certainly felt the chill yesterday as the wind picked up for the vast majority, and with it we saw lots of showers, and those showers are back today, getting heavier and heavier as the day goes on. If we start, though, with a look this morning across the southwestern Wales, only a few showers dotted around at the moment, mainly towards the coast, already heavy at this stage of the day, but for most, you start the day dry and bright, but the chill is certainly notable out there, the odd mist and fog patch, some ice around as well. As 
showers we could see across in Northern Ireland too, but generally here a lot of cloud, the threat of a few showers during the morning, but for many of you it will be a dry but rather cool start to the day. Now the uh, northwest of Scotland is one of the favoured spots again for staying dry and sunny throughout. We start that way this morning, a few showers elsewhere across Scotland, more than we've seen during the past few days, and whilst the bulk of uh, Northern England's dry, you're already starting to see a few showers crop up across the east. But it's really parts of the Midlands and the south where we start dry, reasonably bright, some mist and fog patches. Watch out, though, it could be a little bit icy on the back roads first thing this morning, but the ice is going to be a bit hit and miss. Temperatures generally hovering at or above freezing. And we'll not see them rise too much through the day because the easterly wind's going to dominate. That's going to make thing, things feel especially cool, especially for parts of eastern Scotland. Maybe not quite as chilly across the eastern parts of England compared with yesterday. But just notice how the showers develop quite widely through the day. Some of those becoming heavy and thundery. Best to avoid the showers, well, probably parts of uh, West Wales and Western Scotland where you'll see the bulk of the sunshine. But even when you see the showers, some sunshine in between and temperatures at best 12 degrees. Now, through tonight, the showers continue for a time, but they start to focus on certain areas. Parts of uh, the Midlands, Northern England, North Wales, for instance, that rain can become heavy and persistent. And still lots of lively showers across the southwest too. Some of those still heavy and thundery through the night. Into the morning, it starts dry in some areas, quite chilly, but through Friday, we see the showers develop once again. Heaviest across the southern half of the country, to the north, a little bit dry, but a lot of cloud through eastern Scotland with some damp and drizzly conditions, and another cool day in the easterly wind. I'll have more from the school here in uh, Bridge water shortly but for now it's back to you matt thank you very much we'll see you later on what a well-behaved classroom that was are they amazing matt's obviously had an effect on them hopefully there. we'll get uh, one of them to do the weather later yes <laughs> Let's have a look at the weather today. Matt's out and about for us. It's the BBC News School Report Day today, so what better place for Matt than the classroom? <laughs> Morning to you, Matt. Good morning, Charlie. Yes, we're at uh, Robert Blake Science College here in Bridgewater. Our uh, budding uh, reporters have all switched from the newspapers to online. Some of them preparing pieces to camera behind me and also researching the latest stories, which include all the latest weather stories, because weather is a big feature this year in BBC News School Report, especially given the uh, winter we had. And some of our reporters will be uh, presenting, co-presenting the forecast later on this evening around the nations and regions, so join them for that. So I'd better get in quickly with the forecast for today, because I think I've got some competition on my hands. And I don't really come with particularly great news for today at least because uh, like yesterday we've got plenty of showers uh, forming across the country and it will be another rather chilly day thanks to an easterly breeze. But that said, many of you start the day dry. Here in the southwest we've got just a few showers at the moment dotted around, particularly around some southern and western coasts, but those are already lively. Many start with a bit of brightness. There is some um, patchy mist, frost and fog around as we could also see across Wales, but largely dry here. And the odd shower across into Northern Ireland too this morning with plenty of cloud, but the cloud broke in places to allow some morning sunshine. Some of the best of the sunshine is in across the west and northwest of Scotland, but elsewhere in Scotland, more showers than we've seen through the past few days. That will continue to develop through the day. Into England once again, well, west of Pennines, dry, sunny, but frosty. Out to the east, we've got plenty of cloud around, one or two showers. That extends down through East Anglia, but I think the day, as it goes, the morning will be a little bit uh, drier than the afternoon will be. Now, we've got the showers along the south coast. They will gradually push their way inland. So many central southern parts of the country, it's going to be a day where the showers really get going, some of those becoming heavy and thundery. Further north, there'll be some more showers around the set across Scotland. In fact, few of you will be uh, lucky to avoid the showers completely. I think many will need the umbrella at some point today. But the best chance of avoiding those showers, western Wales, western parts of Scotland, I think it's here we'll see the best of the sunshine. Temperatures still on the low side, particularly to eastern Scotland, but parts of southeast England maybe not quite as chilly as it was yesterday. Now, as we go through tonight, the showers will start to focus into certain areas, particularly across parts of the Midlands, Northern England, North Wales, maybe even Northern Ireland. It could be a wet night for some of you. Also, down to the southwest, we'll continue to see some very heavy showers. This is because we're close to an area of low pressure, which is really providing the feeding cloud, feeding zone for those shower clouds at the moment. And temperatures, well, they'll fall away, but uh, most will have just about avoid a frost. But there is the chance temperatures get close to freezing in one or two spots. Now, through Friday, we'll see uh, showers to begin with, southwest England, quite a wet start for some in northern England, north Midlands, north Wales. That sort of zone could hang on to a lot of cloud outbreaks of rain throughout. Elsewhere, though, we'll see showers develop to the south of it, some of those becoming heavy and thundery. To the north of it, a few showers, some dry and bright weather again to the northwest of Scotland, but eastern parts of Scotland, some patchy drizzle, a cloudier day, and for all, that easterly breeze will remain a rather chilly one. But the outlook is looking a little bit more promising because by the time we get to the weekend, the winds go southeasterly, the temperatures will rise, and some of it will have a little bit of 
sunshine, particularly for Mothering Sunday. That's how it's looking. I've got more throughout the morning from these uh, very keen students, but for the time being, back to Charlie and Louise. Yes, Max, question for you. A little later on, are you going to give one of them the chance to have a go at the weather? We certainly will, but uh, I will carefully choose them. I don't want too much competition, Charlie. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> that Very is good. a good point. Forward to that. Thank you. Matt is here with a special weather, actually, as well, because it's the annual BBC News School Report Day, and we've sent, it, sent him to chat to pupils at a school in Somerset. Morning again. Good morning, yes, just uh, a few of the 30,000 pupils taking part in this year's BBC News School Report, all working to a tight deadline to produce live bulletins at 2 o'clock, and some will be actually presenting, co-presenting the weather this evening on their forecast of the nations and the regions at around half past six. And we've got a few students behind me at the moment having a little practice themselves. They've got some good news coming, and we've got some good news coming for you as well in the forecast. But let's take a look at today's details first of all, because it is another story of rather chilly conditions across many parts of the UK. An easterly wind is dominating. Now, whilst many of you are starting the day dry, only a few of you, I think, will be able to leave the uh, umbrellas completely home because we'll see plenty of showers develop. We've got some heavy showers at the moment around the far south and southwest of England, mainly towards the coast, but they're going to develop a bit more widely in the coming hours. Still a lot of dry and bright weather here at the moment, even if it is a little on a chilly start. Same to in Wales. Most of the overnight showers have gone before the showers develop again later in the day. Northern Ireland, a few spots of rain at the moment, some brighter weather around. Again, that chill can be felt. Being felt a bit more across Scotland today thanks to an easterly breeze, but if you're in the north and northwest, here again you'll see the best of the drier weather, a lot of sunshine to take you through the day. Eastern areas, more showers than we've been used to of late. Now across the rest of England, well it's down the eastern flank where we're continuing to see one or two showers at the moment. They will get going through the morning into the afternoon. Further west though, we start with a lot of dry and bright weather, the odd patch of mist and fog. The cloud thin and breaking for time to allow some sunshine, but just watch the map through the day, how those showers really start to get going particularly across the uh, southern and eastern parts of the UK through the morning and into the afternoon. And the showers by the end of the day will start to get focused across some parts of northern England, the North Midlands and North Wales. South of that, we'll see some heavy and thundery showers. To the north, there will be more showers than we've had of late. Best of the dry weather to the west of Scotland and parts of western Wales. And a cool day in all. Temperatures at the best around 12 degrees in the southeast. So maybe not quite as chilly here as it was yesterday. Now tonight there will be a risk of frost and ice where the shower is clear, but just notice how we continue to see some cloud and rain across parts of northern England, north Midlands, north Wales and into northern Ireland to take us through the night. And the showers keep going across the far southwest of the country too. Temperatures generally above freezing, but like today, be prepared. Some of the back roads and pavements could be a little bit frosty, a little bit icy to start your Friday morning. So last day of the working week, it's going to be another chilly one. We've got uh, the showers already in the go in the southwest. That area of more persistent rain across some parts of northern England, North Midlands, North Wales, that'll be with you through much of the day, often towards parts of Northern Ireland as well. North of that, a few showers around, a lot of clouds to eastern parts of Scotland with some patchy rain. To the south of it, we'll see some heavy showers develop. And again, like today, some of those could be uh, with thunder, with hail as well. And an easterly wind dominates, so it is going to feel a little bit on the chilly side once more, although you will notice temperatures starting to creep up a little bit in the southeast. Some of the coldest conditions, I think, will be across the east of the country. But that's the forecast for the next few days. As for the outlook for the weekend, I've got my able weather assistant, George, here. What's it looking like, George? Temperatures will rise, and for many, it will be sunnier and warmer. So there you go. I get the bad news, George gets the good news. I think I've got competition. Back to you both. Thank you, George. We preferred yours. <laughs> Matt, you're brilliant. <laughs> preferred yours. Good morning. Yes, weather well, is a big feature of this year's BBC News School Report. And we're at Robert Blake, si Robert Blake Science uh, College here in Bridgewater, where the weather's had more an effect on some than you can imagine. We'll hear from them later, but as for the weather today, it's another story of sunshine and showers and a cold wind. More details coming up in 15 minutes. Matt, thanks very much. 7.55 at the time. Only a few weeks ago, the weather was dominating the headlines, of course. Many parts of the UK were hit by storms, leaving a lot of flooding. Those affected include pupils from Robert Blake Science College in Somerset, some of whom are still living in temporary accommodation, so it seems only right that they've decided to use their experiences to make a report for this year's BBC School Report. Matt's there with them now. Morning. Good morning. Yes, we'll be looking at that report in the next hour, but uh, I've certainly been here all morning hearing some of the stories that have been affecting uh, the students here. And that's the whole point of BBC News School Report. It's how 
they see the stories and what means the most to them. And of course, we'll see the report later, but like many other students, 30,000 in total. Later on, they'll be producing live reports and also weather reports on your uh, BBC nations and regions. But uh, what have you got planned for today, Rosie? Um, I'm a researcher for the Malaysian jet planes, and I, earlier today I found out that 122 pieces of debris or plane have been found in the ocean, so I'll be researching that until I find out more. Fantastic. And there'll be more reports, of course, coming up. But for now, let's go take a look at the latest news, travel and weather where you are. We're going to take a look at the weather today. Uh, slightly different because it's the annual BBC News School Report Day today. Matt's out and about. He's gone to Somerset, gone back to school. Morning, Matt. Hi, hi. Thank you very much, Charlie. Good morning. Yes, we're at Robert Blake uh, Science College here in Bridgewater. Part of BBC News School Report, where weather is an important theme this year. Not only have we got uh, reporters all around the country co-presenting the weather in all the nations and regions at half six this evening, but here at Robert Blake, they've prepared a piece on how the recent floods have affected some of their students. We'll take a look at that in the next hour. But let's get on to the weather, first of all, for today, for many of us, because it's not a great story. It's a story of, again, probably needing your umbrella in many parts of the country, because the shower is going to quickly develop develop across many areas and again it will be another rather chilly day and we've already got some very lively showers on the go across some southern parts of England particularly around coasts, coasts of Dorset, Devon and Cornwall some of those showers heavy with hail and thunder been reports of snow as well in the tops of Dartmoor too those showers develop a bit more widely during the next few hours Wales by contrast though dry fairly bright starts They're a bit cold though some mist and fog and patchy uh, frost around but that quickly clears to Northern Ireland though where we could see one or two showers uh, through this morning mainly pushing in from the east and that developing breeze and that breeze will be noticeable across in uh, Scotland as well coming from the east making it feel a little bit colder than recent days in the west you shelter from it you'll see some sunshine to the east though greater chance of a few showers northwest England shelter with some sunny spells this morning a little bit on the chilly side but down across the eastern parts of England whilst many are dry one or two heavy showers already on the go now through the day those showers are going to develop more widely you'll notice them on the south coast starting to push their way further and further north expect some hail thunder with them also on the higher ground maybe a little bit of sleet or wet snow. Further north, while well, the showers will start to develop from the east, they'll become a little bit more prolonged by the end of the day across parts of northern England, the Midlands and Wales. But there'll be areas of western Wales, parts of northwest England and western Scotland in particular, where you won't see a shower all day long. You may just stay with a dry and bright weather. Temperatures, though, will be down perhaps in these areas compared with recent days, but across the southeast, it may not feel quite as chilly. Now, through this evening and overnight, the showers get focused across parts of the Midlands, northern England and north Wales. Some lengthier spells of rain to come here, some heavy bursts as well. Still some showers in the southwest in between some dry clearer weather the odd chance of some mist frost and fog but uh, i think many will just about be frost free into the morning and then for friday we stick with that easterly breeze and again the threat of showers will continue greatly across parts of southwest england you're closer to an area of low pressure which acts as a feeding ground for those shower clouds those showers will be interspersed with some dry and brighter moments and then develop through southern england the midlands and wales North Wales and across parts of the North Midlands, Northern England, there will be an area of uh, more cloud and breaks of rain continuing through the day. North of that, some dry and bro bright moments, the best of which to the northwest of Scotland. But eastern Scotland, a lot of low cloud coming on that east wind and there will be some patchy rain. Here, it will feel rather chilly, but towards the south, it will start to feel a little bit warmer. So that's the outlook for the next few days. It's looking OK, a bit mixed, not particularly great, but what of the weekend outlook? Me uh, Chloe, tell us. Temperatures will rise and for many it will be sun and warmer. Perfect. She gets the good news, I get the bad. But it does look much better. Back to you. Oh, she, she was very good at it too. Matt, thank you very much. We'll see you a little bit later. Uh, let's have a look at the weather now. Matt's been out and about for us today. BBC News School Report Day today. So Matt's gone back to the classroom. How's it gone so far, Matt? I certainly have. It's gone very well, Charlie. And of course, weather, a big theme this year, and we'll find out how that has affected some of the uh, students here in a short while. But let's first of all concentrate on the weather today and how it's going to affect you if you're making any journeys across the country. And it could be a day again where some of you, if you're going by foot, you'll need the umbrellas because showers are going to develop quite quickly across many parts of the country in the coming hours. And like yesterday, some of those could be heavy with hail, thunder, even a little bit of hill snow. And we've already got those showers developing quite widely in parts of southwest England at the moment, mainly closer towards the southern coast. But 
but uh, some of those already proving quite lively and there's been snow reported on uh, Dartmoor but still a bit of dry and brighter weather between that and across parts of Wales largely dry at the moment the overnight showers have cleared and we'll continue to see some brighter sunny spells for a while yet across Northern Ireland though still a few showers on the go here varying amounts of cloud but a bit of sunshine in between but it's northwest Scotland again where we'll see the best of the weather today the sunniest of the conditions whereas further east not only is the breeze a little bit colder but we've seen more showers than we've seen for the past few and that will continue throughout northwest England another area where we could stay dry and bright through a good part of the morning but whilst much of England is dry at the moment with some sunny spells we have got more cloud across eastern areas one or two showers have already developed fairly few and far between at the moment but if anything we'll see those showers start to gather more and more through the day in fact some heavy showers on the south coast will start to work their way northwards we'll see some showers develop inland as well and uh, as I said more showers across Scotland are being used to the best of the dry and brighter weather parts of uh, western and northwestern Scotland maybe parts of western Wales getting away with a largely dry day and elsewhere yes the showers will be around some of those heavy and thundery one or two of you could slip between them but uh, another cool day thanks to that easterly wind even if it doesn't feel as chilly in the southeast corner as it did yesterday now, through the evening and overnight, we start to focus some of the rain across parts of the North Midlands, Northern England, North Wales, potentially Northern Ireland as well. And showers keep going in the far southwest of England. In between some drier moments, some clearer moments, that could lead to some frost and ice once again. The odd mist of fog patch can't be ruled out. But either way, it's still going to be a chilly start to Friday morning for many of you. The showers for the morning commute mainly focused across southwest England, southwest Wales again, and across parts of the Midlands, Northern England, North Wales. It could be a potentially quite wet start for some of you. And that area area of thicker cloud and outbreaks of rain will hang around for a good part of the day. Also seeing lots of low cloud drifting across eastern parts of Scotland with some light rain and drizzle. The cool breeze here, best of the driest and brightest weather, will again be confined to the far northwest of Scotland. And it will be another rather cool day with temperatures around 14 degrees at the very best. So that's the outlook for the next few days. But what of the weekend? I've got a feeling it's looking much, much better. Millie, what's it looking like? Temperatures will rise and for many it will be sunnier and warmer. Fantastic. Some good news at last. Stark contrast to what we saw through the winter. Flooding may have dropped off the headlines but for some of the students here it's still having a major effect on their lives as their very own school report shows. The floods may have stopped making headlines but communities across the country are still reeling in the aftermath. Earlier this year, parts of Moorland, near Bridgewater and Somerset, were flooded for the first time in its history, leaving houses devastated and uprooting families from their homes. This is the first time 14-year-old Georgina has returned home since the water subsided. I was in France and um, someone contacted me, like a friend, through social media, and she basically just explained like what happened and that we'd been flooded and everything and which just made me want to go home. Her brother Dom tried to rescue what he could before emergency services made them leave in the middle of the night. I, I'd move these chairs from the conservatory thinking you know, they'd, they'd be safe now, but it seems a waste of time really just to uh, try and protect stuff that just had no chance of being, of really surviving this really. But, yeah. That's nah, quite tough to see, but I don't really like seeing it. Families may now be adjusting to living in temporary accommodation, but for some, they've only just been reunited with their pets. Everything's just been so hard, um, but it's the way you deal with things, and this is an experience that um, really shows, you know, what you're made of, really. And the only way now is just to look forward. When the River Tone and River Pat burst their banks, over a quarter of the Somerset levels were flooded. Despite 50,000 sandbags and 62 pumps operating 24 hours a day, the force of nature is too strong to hold back. The government may have pledged more money to flood defences, but for families here in Moorland, it's too little, too late. This is Robert Blake Science College reporting for BBC News School Report. A touching and very well made report there by the students here at Robert Blake. Uh, we've still got Millie with us at the moment because like 30,000 other students across the UK, they're going to be making reports throughout the day to go live at 2 o'clock on the uh, School Report website. Millie's the duty editor today. What does that involve? Um, duty editor involves basically checking all of the facts and making sure that we are on the 2pm deadline, which is pretty intense. High pressure, high pressure, high pressure. Best of luck with that. And with me also is Mr Gammon, the head teacher here. This is the first year the school's been involved with a, sport, a school report. What does that mean to you and the pupils? 
you know, we're an improving school in relatively challenging circumstances. So for us, the opportunity to raise student aspiration and to uh, give them the opportunity to achieve and achieve well regardless of their background is really important. Staff work really hard to do that and today's a fantastic opportunity to do exactly that and students have done a brilliant job. It's really exciting and a good news story for the school. It is. I think they've been fantastic today. Very dedicated. They're all here at half past five this morning. I've been working solidly throughout uh, breakfast. And don't forget later today as well as reports from here, there's uh, reporters from around the country co-presenting the weather forecast on your regional and national bulletins later on. So something to look forward to then. But for the time being from uh, Robert Blake at Science College here in Bridgewater, it's back to you both in the studio. And Millie's done a great job both as duty editor and a weather reporter as well. Thank you very much, Matt, too. She's done very well. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Uh,